this is my video review on Orange is the New Black. Um, I, I love what they did with it. It's a good show. Uh, probably doesn't reach my demographics so much. I watched five episodes. I thought the the <laughs> Mick Tampon thing, extra rare, uh, that, was, that was bad. I was just like, mm, almost ended it there. Just was not not my cup of tea. But the uh, fact that you see uh, Donna's boobies, like I, I didn't really catch it at first that, you know, it was Donna from that 70s show. But then, you know, you see, boom, Donna. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then it's just like, oh, she's my lesbian lover. And I love the way and all this weird crap and how she got her into crap. And then I'm like, huh, oh, huh. And I'm like, wait, was that her at the beginning? Because I saw a tattoo that I recognized. So, whoa. Zoomed all the way back to the beginning, first episode, bam. I'm like, wow. I must have stared at it for like 10, 15 minutes because that 70s show was playing all through my high school career. And, <laughs> and, uh, I just, I, I just don't know. I mean, you know, Donna was just like the shies to me, you know hottest thing in the world and then I get to see her boobs as an adult. I, I, I feel like I've a I've hit a milestone. I'm not even twenty five, but <laughs> I'm just amazed and I'm like, alright. The story itself story uh it it it's okay. Like, I don't know. It it reminds me of sort of the girl version of Let's Go to Prison, which we should watch. But um Beyond that, I mean, it, it it's not mediocre in any way, but the storyline just doesn't really hit a niche for me. Like I said, I'm not its demographic. And uh, that's the end of my video. <laughs> Thanks for having me. This is my first time posting. Until next week.